Okay, Neil, thank you so much for joining us. Remind everybody, what's an asteroid and why are so many people freaked out about the prospect of this thing? There are countless asteroids that are flying around the solar system. There's a subset of them whose orbits are wayward enough that they cross the orbit of the Earth. Those are the ones you want to keep track of. Take me through the path of this asteroid, what is expected and projected to be. Oh, yeah. Every four years, there's sort of a close encounter, mm -hmm. but that close encounter was not so bad, 2028. It's the, 20, it's the 2032 encounter that we're worried about. So Everyone. here it comes around. It's 2031. Here we come. Okay, that's the encounter that a few days ago had one of the highest risk factors ever calculated for an asteroid. That's why we were especially worried about this. Over the last several days, we were all participating in checking and monitoring what the risk factor was and what direction it was headed. So it went up and down a couple of times, but the most recent ob observations have nailed it and it's now down, the, the risk factor is zero. Zero. So people can calm down? I think so. Okay. Yes, they should calm down. But Take it as a warning, as a shot across our bow, that these things are out there and this is not the end of it. Let's talk about the size of this particular one. Sure, All sure. Right? This thing is massive. It's not just a rock, it's a gigantic boulder. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. It's, you know, almost the size of a football field. There's still uncertainty in its size, but that's about right. Mm -hmm. And if that hit Earth, it would leave a crater almost a mile across. I also found it to be really cool that we could deflect this with technology to yes. prevent it from hitting us directly. We, we always had how we might do that on paper, but we finally did it with the NASA DART mission, Double Asteroid Redirect Test. It was, a, it was a mission whose sole purpose was to see if we can move the orbit of an asteroid whose orbit we knew precisely. And so we took its spacecraft, slammed it in, that slowed it down in its orbit, and we were able to measure how different its movement was compared to before, and we said, yes, this worked. But there are others out there. Don't just rest and relax, is what, you, what I hear you uh, saying. Correct. So this is a reminder that these things are out there. Our ability to detect them is greater than ever before, so that you should watch this space for more and more of these to show up. By the way, they were always there. Now we'll just know when they're coming. Yeah. All right. Dr. Tyson, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate oh, pleasure. It. Thanks so thank much. You.